G'day everyone. Wanted to talk about something that really bugs me and this is sometimes I just can't understand the way that camera companies think. We keep hearing all the time that camera companies are starting to struggle with sales uh, and things like that and how sales numbers are dropping down considerably and then companies basically just shoot themselves in the foot and I want the whole industry to be successful and I want every manufacturer out there to be really successful because even though I shoot Sony if other camp uh, if other companies are successful that also means that Sony are going to be pushed which means that I'm going to get better products myself so I hate it when companies do stupid things and this is really stupid what's happened here uh, just over the last few days Canon have announced a new camera which is the EOS 200D Mark II now yes it is an entry level camera and you can see that by the specs here I mean I'm not going to go through them all now but it is an entry uh, level camera uh, so you're paying for that type of features when you, you're, you're paying that sort of money but having said that it's also a apparent that what they've done is they've taken out the middle pin for the hot shoe. Now this was reported uh, on, I think F-Stop was the first one that I saw this um, article come out. I'll just move this over so you can see this. Um, so this was the F-Stopper article that came out uh, and he's talking about that the release was the ES 200D. Um, but they're saying what's happened is Canon have removed, it's actually down here, that Canon have removed the universal hot pin from the hot shoe. Now, what the universal hot pin gives you, it gives you the ability to use any flash in manual. Now, yes, you may lose things like uh, TTL and HSS, but at least you can use a manual flash on that camera, so you can buy any cheap flash that you want to buy and stick that on that camera. Now, if you're dealing with what Canon have done here, that this is a low-end camera, so it's good to be able to have the ability to, lose a, to use a very cheap flash on that camera if you need to, rather than being forced to go out and purchase a, um, a high-end flash, or a Canon flash, I should say, which, which will meet uh, all of that middle pin requirements or whatever that they've done to that flash hot shoe. So that article sort of discusses that, and I'll leave this in the link down below so you can see the video that's... Uh, been shared there by f-stoppers um, and also have a read of this article now Godox apparently uh, this morning I noticed are issuing a firmware update um, that is uh, bringing support to this crippled Canon camera uh, feature that you know that they've taken out and then it's showing there that it's missing the center pin um, which is, I, I just don't understand this at all, and I'll talk about that in a second. But anyway, Godox look like they've done it, that will enable them. I'm not sure how well it works, um, but they're saying it's good news. Godox has responded by releasing um, a firmware update that fixes this issue. Uh, and they're saying down here that I think it's only working with certain flashes at this stage. Uh, it's saying it's on April the 29th, uh, just five days after Andrew's video came out. Godox announced a new firmware updates for the VH662C, the X1T-C, the, the TT350C, and the uh, V350C. Uh, and it says that will make them compatible with Canon's center pin hot shoe. Um, but, I mean, I, I, just don't, I just don't understand this. This is stupid. This is what Canon tends to do all the time. They take away features. Then they whinge online about them losing sales, losing profits, everything else, but then they treat their users with disrespect like this. Now, there's no excuse for that in this case because this is their low-end camera and yet they're forcing users to go out and buy a Canon flash. So that defeats the purpose in, uh, right from the beginning of buying a cheap camera that you have to then go out and buy an expensive flash to make this work. So good on Godox for fixing that. Like I said, I don't know how well it works. But this is just a perfect case why Canon is struggling. And I really think that they must have blinkers on to think that their users are blind and they're not going to notice what's going on out there. Canon, you've got to start treating your users with respect. You've got to start looking after your users and not taking features away that you always seem to do, like putting massive crops on your uh, higher-ended cameras and things like that. It, it's about time that you started giving something back to people and stop taking everything away because in the end, it's going to hurt you. And like I said, I don't want that to happen in this industry.
I want everyone, each manufacturer to succeed. But the way you're going, that's not going to happen. I'd love to know your thoughts down below, what you think about this. Uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see you all soon for the next video. Bye for now.